what I was thinking is I would show you my bullet journal that I have to um, help me prioritize and organize my housekeeping. We'll get started with that. Okay, so this is everything I have for my bullet journal. Um, we'll start with the basics, the journal itself. This is an Essentials Dot Matrix Notebook, A5 size. Um, I got it on Amazon. It was uh, $12 on Amazon, and I really like it. It's the first one I've done, so, you know. Got these markers here, which are um, just some basic felt-tipped colored markers, as you can see there's and um, that's just I got those on Amazon also they're fine liner color I use a mechanical pencil um, and lead I like this because it's always sharp I don't have to worry about sharpening it you know and because that's always unfortunate to have to sharpen a pencil in the middle of writing um, the pen I use I have a click click pen I call them obsession because I like that noise but I just really love the way it feels in my hand and how smooth it is when it writes um, it really it, it's just a really nice pen then I also have some uh, colored pencils the Crayola they got me some stencils there's 12 stencils here uh, some stickers um, I've used a lot of them but you know they're just basic stickers they're not anything fancy then, you know, basics, I got more lead, a couple of erasers, a ruler, pencil sharpener, and um, that's, you know, pretty much my supplies. Hi. When I was preparing to do this bullet journal, I did a lot of YouTube searches for tutorials on, on what they were and how they looked and what to do. Um, the mission statement that I put in my bullet journal says that I can do anything I set my mind to. I will be organized and keep my home and family organized as well. Get enough rest, pay attention to the signals my body sends. Meditate, yoga, read more, pursue hobbies, connect with friends and family more often. I will constantly renew myself. I will stop procrastinating and start working on setting a schedule, creating a plan, and organizing my ideas. And that is what I hoped having this bullet journal would help me do and it really has it's allowed me to take better care of my home than I had been doing previously what I did was on the first part on this first page I just wrote down every day of the week and what I've broken my home down into the different rooms and each room gets a day that way I am not overwhelmed and I don't overdo um, with the MS. I have to make sure I don't get overtired. So to have each room given its own day, then I don't have to try and do it all at once. There's the mission statement that I read. Then on the next, um, on this next page, I have all of the birthdays that we have in our family and then I have all of my contacts listed on this page I have listed the things that I want to make sure I get done um, perhaps on the days when I don't feel like I can do an entire cleaning day hopefully I can get at least this done um, every month starts off with a calendar on it so that I can have all of the days in order for me to do my weeks and then I also put down my appointments or anything that we have going on that month any birthdays any uh, events we have to do or anything I break each month down into a week and each week into days and each day gets its own room. Uh, the rooms are broken down into the individual tasks that I need to accomplish in order to have that room clean and that way I can 
look at the individual task and not the entire room. This way I'm able to focus on just individual tasks and not entire rooms and I don't get overwhelmed because I can easily clean the mirror in the bathroom when I may not be able to clean the bathroom. If you have MS that makes sense to you. If you don't have MS it might also make sense to you but that is the way uh, my brain works now. And Also in April I started using a habit tracker and what it is is just you know a list of things I want to do on a regular basis uh, like my bu bullet journal, walk my dog, take my medications and uh, it's just you know I have used this block system here where it's just each day of the month and as I complete it during the day I color it in with whatever color corresponds to that action. It's really cool, it's been fun to keep track of stuff like that and it has gotten more and more effective as it has gone on. So then as I go through the month and I complete each week then at the end of the month I have a page for uh, the month in review so that I can just go through and if there was anything that happened that I want to put down I can. Any notes I need to take I can put those in there. I just any symptoms if my MS symptoms act up or anything I can put those in there and fun things that happened or bad things that happened whatever I can just put it in there and then I I have a record of it hey thanks so much for hanging out with me and letting me do this uh, it was fun I had a good time doing this and hopefully I'll have more videos like this coming up uh, and we'll get to know each other a little better uh, leave me a comment let me know what you'd like to see me talk about next and uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm just starting out and I'd like to build it as much as I can. Thanks, we'll talk to you later.